All right, currently in New York City, going over the George Washington Bridge. Almost hit a junkie shooting up on the side of the road. All right, currently in uh, Newark, getting some gas. We got uh, about 278 miles to a full tank. <sighs> All right, an observation driving through Newark. Does every single car have at least one dent on it? Man. That's someplace outside of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, it's nap time. Welcome to West Virginia. So here it is. 1940s uh, Airbnb in West Virginia. Let's do a quick tour, shall we? These baby steps to go up. It's basically a tiny little house made out of cinder blocks. Got your grill, a couple chairs. I'll show you the uh, bathroom first. You walk along this. Really nice view, by the way. That's the Potomac River. That's your poopoo -poo house. Just one giant room. And this here up. Got your bed, AC, mirror, some spare blankets, a couple windows, nice little table, and of course, you know, a little workspace, a place to prepare some food and have a meal. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Okay, so we're down just by the shore of the Potomac. I'll take you guys down there. This is a very interesting uh, ground texture here. This is what it looks like. It's okay to step on. It's almost uh, spongy to the touch. Do that. It's almost like clay. It's kind of cool. You can tell the uh, when the water gets high, it kind of comes up here. And there's a little uh, levee there to protect all the houses and the roads and whatnot. Hello, log. Hello, rope. There she is. Looks kind of muddy. I'm not sure if you can swim in it or not, what kind of critters are in there. But uh, you never know, it might be refreshing on a nice hot day. Now I gotta find something to eat. I went with the assortment. I'm gonna choose Cozy Cameo. Good morning and welcome to late June 2018. Today I'm gonna to be driving from West Virginia down to Shenandoah National Park. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. But uh, that's in Virginia and I'm gonna be doing a little backcountry overnight camping trip. Take you guys through what I'm bringing, and then I'll show you guys later how I'm setting up for camp. Right, I'll take you guys through uh, look at what I'm bringing for an overnight camping trip in a woodsy area. Uh, since I'm going to be in a woodsy area, I'm not bringing a tent. I'm just bringing this hammock. That way, I can just string it in between uh, a couple trees. So this is the basic necessities. I'm not bringing anything extra. I try to go to bare minimum. We got teepee, we got some food, Kansas soup, some tea, some ramen, 
You got my deodorant, um, toothbrush, etc. right there. We have a notebook to write in. Got some camping whiskey. We have a tarp in case it rains or gets wet. Of course, the hammock, the medical kit. The backpack, which I'll be uh, filling up with, you know, like water. I got a couple knives in there, a compass, a whistle, and whatnot. And then uh, there's a the sleeping bag. Exploring some hiking trails. Trying to find a place to camp for tonight. All right, I think I found a pretty good campsite for the night. Go across that river, come down here. And I'm gonna hang the hammock between that tree and that tree. I went ahead and stuck my bag up on this branch just so it was off the ground. It's a little makeshift hook. All right, let's get this campsite set up. Oh wow, that took way longer than expected. Um, I think because all the wooden stuff is just so moist. Um, even stuff like this that I picked up off of, say, a tree branch that was washed up has so much moisture in it. So that took a little longer than expected. But we have a fire. You ever have a bug flying in your eyelid and you shut your eye by accident, kind of like out of reflex and you just crush the bug? It's happened about a million times. <clears throat> All right, so we got the fire built. It's gonna be dinner. I just got it smoldering right now. Crack the top so it doesn't explode. Should be ready in 15 minutes or so. All right, I'm getting ready to call it a night. Getting kind of tired. I actually end up, uh, I did end up using the sleeping bag for tonight. Got a little chilly. Just reviewing the map for the hike out tomorrow morning. Still got some light up in the sky, which amazes me, honestly. You know, it's summertime, but it's almost nine o'clock and it's still got light outside. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, that pretty much concludes the first episode of Driven Through America. Uh, I hope you guys stay tuned for more because, you know, this is only the beginning of the journey. And uh, there's a lot more to happen, who knows? So uh, stay tuned. Peace out.